Sound check one two one two. Here at Subic Bay, it's a beautiful afternoon. A very windy, beautiful breeze. Beautiful. I hope you can hear me well, in spite of this uh, strong breeze. bike and uh, I haven't found any so uh, I was thinking of doing an honest a very honest opinion about this motorcycle this is a Yamaha Mio Soul I 115 And I've had this for, for two years already. So I'm going to do some honest reviews, very honest reviews about this bike. I haven't checked any from the internet, so I guess I'm going to do one. I'll be the first. So if you're watching this video, don't forget to sub subscribe for my future videos. Okay, um, the engine is a 115cc. Uh, the fly balls are still stock, 12 grams straight. And my tires in front would be 80 by 80 and 80 by 90 in the rear. I've managed to have a top speed of 105 it feels like this bike can still go more for 110 recently I just purchased a fuel injector a fuel injector for this bike um, which cost me about 1700 pesos They, they already told me that um, this type of bike is uh, rather sensitive. This is a uh, 2014 model. I got this second hand. I bought this from Angeles, Pampanga, and um, drove it all the way here to Subic. When I wash this motorcycle, okay, water tends to get in under the seat, and that's really irritating, okay. And um, this is actually my my second my second um, MSI. My the first one I had uh, had um, some some problems with the under chassis. Uh, it got rusted. And uh, I was so disappointed with the bike. Uh, I I went to a shop, had it fabricated, and then sold it in a, a very low price. So I got this second one. Okay, uh, I got it. The first thing I did was check the under chassis. Okay, and it was all good. So you have to always check the chassis. Okay. Now second thing is the weight in front now if you are driving alone then this is not a problem okay but once you have a passenger okay, uh, the, the front tends to be lighter okay and uh, that's not good as much as possible Just like the fuel 
M3 or the MXI to 5 okay, or the, uh, the GT to 5 of the Yamaha so it, it, has it, it has its own fuel injection okay. uh, like I said a while ago it cost me around 1700 pesos okay. so uh, I go directly to Yamaha See, I could not fit the water bottle inside here. I may, I may, I may be able to fit a, uh, the, 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 seat, the small cedar bottle, but that's about it. So I had, I had to install this one. I had to install this one. This is actually uh, from my, from my mountain bike. This is an original Cephal, which costs around. 450 I guess but it, it, it does its job yeah it's sturdy enough okay. so the pockets unlike the uh, the, the Mio Sporty and the Mio Soul it, it's got big pockets this one no okay and then lastly about this bike among all the uh, the, the the Mios this is the one that is most discriminated I guess um, parts are rare okay although this is actually a limited edition parts are very rare and, uh, and this guy's uh, smiling at me I don't know why okay now let's go to cons oh no 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 I said pro pros okay now let's go back to the pros of, of this bike pros of this bike okay it's really a gas saver surprisingly surprisingly yeah just like what I said a while ago uh, for <clears throat> from from Angulus from Panga to to Subic, you it's like seventy pesos. Not bad. Another thing that I like about this bike is it's a Yamaha. Okay, the quality of, of Yamaha bikes are really really good. They are very reliable. Okay, um, you won't have any problems. It just me just. Sporty from the brake caliper, uh, brake drum, what else? Uh, the max, yeah, sporty will fit. The shocks, no problem. Okay, then um, lastly, it's the looks. Okay. It's like this is a limited edition. This is a rare Mio. Okay, but keep in mind, the rarer it gets, the harder the parts okay, have to be found. Right? So my maintenance for this bike is every 15 kilometers I, I do a uh, an FI cleaning. And every uh, 1,000 or 1,500 kilometers, I do change oil. And every 3,000 kilometers, I change the gear oil. And I said, I gear oil every year. Like, but come on, it's only like 70 pesos for gear oil. Okay, so that's about it. That's, so that's my my most honest review about this bike. Okay. Uh, I'm not planning to sell this, 
Uh, I'm going to keep this as long as I can, as long as it works. Yeah. So, guys, I hope you like my honest video. Thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. From Subic, goodbye, guys.